Time Map fans, today we're looking at global population and Facebook have been pretty busy. As part of their connectivity lab team, they're looking to connect people to the internet that may not have been connected previously. And they've been working in conjunction with the World Bank and Columbia University in order to produce a high resolution global population layer. I believe it's based on 2015 population data as well as digital globe imagery and using computer vision techniques to actually classify these things. So let's go over to Columbia University's page and have a look at what they've got. So in the Center for International Earth Science Information Network at the Earth Institute, uh, you can read all about how this has been put together, what's going on. You can see some examples here of what the data look like. And you also have a list of countries that are currently published. So I've downloaded the data for Haiti. Um, if you're working in any of these areas, obviously this could be a really useful data set for you. Uh, so take a look at that. And if you would like to see how this looks, you can go to ArcGIS online and check out an interactive map, which is about to load. So here it is loaded up in ArcGIS online. We get a splash screen, tells us about where the data's come from. Um, currently, I believe we're looking at, let's have a look, uh, Ghana, the Ivory Coast, and Burkina Faso. So we can zoom in, we can see what these data look like, and it's incredibly detailed. Looks pretty cool. So you can play around with that in your own time. But as I said before, I've downloaded Haiti, and let's have a look at what that looks like in ArcGIS. So this is what the zip file looks like for Haiti once you've uh, unzipped it. And as always, kick off with the metadata. There is a useful PDF file in here that we can have a look at. And it tells us all about this data set. Uh, this will be included in the metadata as well. So you can see here we have a description of what the bands represent. So it's a TIFF image. Uh, band 1 represents population estimates in persons. Band 2 is a settlement extent. Band 3, value of 1 where cloud was present in the source imagery. So we've got a cloud mask, we've got where buildings are, and we've got uh, the population estimates in persons. So let's add this in and have a look at what it looks like. So I'm going to go for the TIFF. And actually, I'll just add in the first band because that is the person's estimate. And there we go. That's what it looks like. So you can see this is the Haiti data as we scroll further in. Ah, that's rather strange. In the background, we should have no data values, and I'll just get the identify tool up here, and it is indeed no data, whereas down here, still no data, yep. Zoom in a bit closer and see what one of these low values are. 0.7, so something appears to be wrong with the, with the symbology here. So what I've done in order to correct for this is just exported this into a GDB. And here we can see the TIFF in a GDB. Now I'll just change the color ramp here. Uh, let's go from yellow to red. There we go. All right, so that's what the data look like. Uh, you can download each of these for each country, obviously. Now with that little niggle with the node data, I did try um, opening it up in QGIS as well, just to see what that looked like. And here we can see it looked a bit better. We don't have that solid black for the node data, but when I zoom in on other areas, they apparently vanish. Not sure what's happening there, but anyway. So this is a very interesting data set. Um, if you are working in one of those countries, probably worth downloading it and having a look. Don't forget to read the metadata because that will reveal a lot more about how it's put together. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks very much. Happy mapping.